Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here with another video where we look at an antique photograph and talk about its history. I think even the most mundane of these old studio portraits can often have fascinating backstories. In this case, we're looking at a cabinet card produced by the portrait studio of Krupp and Dolmage, which was located at 121 North Cass Street in East Saginaw, Michigan. I looked for this location on Google Maps and either the streets have been renumbered or I'm not sure what happened, but the address no longer exists. This is the street view at the end, which is the 300 block of Cass Street now. I think first I'll talk a little bit about the card and then I'll dive into what I was able to learn about the studio. Looking at this cabinet card, we can see a portrait of three sisters posed in a classic pyramid arrangement. I think it's an albumin print, but if anyone thinks otherwise, let me know in the comments. Most of these cabinet cards that I've seen were albumin prints, but jolt and silver prints were also being made in the 1890s. I'm estimating it was shot in the year 1890 and I'll get into how I arrived at that date in a minute. Someone has identified the sitters as the Newman children written in red ink across the front of the card. That looks like ballpoint pen and the ballpoint pen was invented in 1888 but it wasn't perfected until the 20th century so I wonder if the handwriting is from a later date maybe? The two younger sisters are wearing matching dresses with velveteen details. The clothes look really dark in black and white, so much so that they look almost like Victorian morning dresses, but in reality they may have been really vivid colors, who knows. I know nothing about the Newmans, but if you're from Saginaw and have any information, please share. In doing research, I was able to learn almost nothing about this photography studio, and found only a few extant samples of their work online. There is a little more information, however, about uh, photographer Benjamin S. Krupp. I think what happened is this was a partnership that lasted only less than a year. I found a 2013 book called Directory of Early Michigan Photographers, which listed the business dates for Krupp and Dolmage only from 1890 to 1890, which tells me it was around less than a year and must have been just a short-lived enterprise. So if the studio of Krupp and Dolmage only existed in 1890, this photograph must have been made that year. That's how I arrived at dating it. I did find a biography of Benjamin S. Krupp published in 1892 in a huge thousand plus page volume called, are you ready for this title? Portrait and Biographical Record of Saginaw and Bay Counties, Michigan, containing biographical sketches of prominent and representative citizens together with biographies of all the governors of the state and of the presidents of the United States. That's the complete title. I'm not going to read it verbatim, but you can read the original text in full on my blog at iCatchShadows.com if you're interested. I'll include a link in the description. The bio says Krupp was first and foremost a portrait artist working in freehand crayon, India ink, and newly invented tool called the airbrush. But of course, he was also a photographer. It's fairly common in those days for portrait art and portrait photography to be offered in one location. Krupp was born August 6, 1861 in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and began working as a portrait artist at age 15 in Toronto. At age 18, he went to Chicago to study art and then lived with a cousin in Philadelphia for a year. He went to Stratford, Canada in 1882 and worked there for five years. That's where he met his wife, Charlotte L. Croissant, in Stratford. Later, he returned to the U.S., traveling through the American South before settling in Saginaw, Michigan. In language quoted from the biography, Krupp was a devoted and active member of the Baptist Church. For some years past, our subject has been a member of the Order of Odd Fellows at Saginaw and the Free and Accepted Masons. Their beautiful and well-furnished home is situated on Howard Street, and the house was erected under the personal supervision of Mr. Krupp. End quote. As a reminder, the early photographers were often artists and chemists. I found a listing attributed to Krupp in the 1905 edition of the Journal of American Chemical Society. It talks about heating powdered rosin and wood alcohol on a ground glass to remove dullness. Benjamin S. Krupp died on January 27, 1947, at age 85, and he's buried at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Saginaw, Michigan. Well, I hope you enjoyed this walk through obscure photographic history. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, you can see the high-resolution photos and read Krupp's full biography on my blog, iCatShadows.com.